Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to do an updated vintage fragrance collection video. I did a vintage collection video years ago at this point. It's been so long ago. Like, we were living in our old house, so that's how I know it was like a long time ago. Um, but yeah, anyway, somebody asked me been a while, but somebody did ask me to do an updated one, so here we are, and I'm just gonna jump right in. So some of these, they're not the vintage formulation, but they're a vintage perfume, and I own them just for that reason. Some of them, a lot of them are the original formulation, and some of them have gone off because they are the original formulation, and some of them are like from the 80s and 90s. And then a lot of them are my, like, my original formulation Dior fragrances, and technically I think something has to be 20 years old or older to be true vintage, so um, a couple of them are, well, one, one for sure I know is actually vintage. The other ones are just the original formulation, soon to be vintage. So yeah, I'm gonna start with those ones first. I'm gonna start with all of my Christian Dior's. So I have the original formulation of Hypnotic Poison. This is, I've got about a third of a bottle left. And I love this formulation so much more. It's softer. You get a little bit more of the almond. Yeah, it's definitely more almond heavy. The new formulation, I get a lot more of the florals in the newer formulation. This one, you get much more of the almond and the vanilla and the caraway. It's much more of like a, I don't know, a smooth, slightly sweet, kind of slightly powdery fragrance. And the new formulation is still really good. It just doesn't last very long. This one lasts a really long time. Um, this used to be my signature back before... It was like, I think this has been reformulated three times and it wasn't this formulation, but it was the one in between this one and the newest one. And it lasted forever on me. It was a really good performer. Um, and this one is a really good performer too. The newest formulation though is not. But yeah, I like this so much better than the new formulation. I had a bottle of the new formulation as well and I was like, I need to just let it go because I don't wear it a whole ton anymore anyways because it is an old signature of mine and I've just kind of gotten over it. But when I do feel like wearing it, I'm just so glad to have the original formulation. So anyways, that is Hypnotic Poison from Christian Dior, the original. I've also, now this one would be true vintage at this point. I've got the original formulation of Dior Addict. My bottle is from 2002, so this definitely is vintage at this point. And I don't know, what do you say about Addict? It's so good. This formulation, I believe, has Tonka and Madagascar vanilla, or maybe bourbon vanilla. It's got one of those kinds of vanillas. Um, it's got jasmine in the middle. It's just beautiful, but this, for me, Dior Addict is a Tonka fragrance. And it's funny because the newest formulation, which I have I have as well, I don't think it's got Tonka in the notes, if I remember correctly. Or maybe I always think that and it really does. But I will say that Dior, for the most part, did not butcher Addict when they reformulated it. Um, I love the reformulation too. I think it's beautiful. I can easily go back and forth and wear either one, and both of them make me very happy. Um, it's just a beautiful fragrance. Yeah, I don't wear this one often when I wear Addict. I usually wear my newer bottle, um, but I love this, and I will wear it on very special occasions, maybe, I don't know, once a year. This one I've got, I would say a little more than a third of a bottle. Um, yeah, really beautiful. The way that you can tell the vintage formulation of Dior Addict is the vintage formulation has this little twist cap on top and you turn it to allow it to spray and then you actually spray with this little button on the top. Um, the newest formulation has a, has a lid, has a cap that you pull off and a normal sprayer in there and it's silver. So this is actually vintage at this point. Vintage Dior Addict, the original formulation. Okay, I've got a couple of the original formulations of Christian Dior Miss Dior Cherie. So I've got the Eau de Toilette. This is 
just you'll just have to ignore my voice um the pollen is really bad here right now and yeah it's yeah that's the only part that's bothering me anymore is it is kind of um making my voice go like slightly hoarse so i love the eau de toilette formulation it smells so much like the original Miss Dior Cherie, but it doesn't have that caramel and popcorn in it. This one is much more like effervescent and light. Really crisp, beautiful citruses in the top and really light florals in the middle. But it does, it's got that Miss Dior Cherie vibe. I love it. I love the Eau de Toilette formulation. I think it's so... It's just so beautiful. Um, I think this is, I think my bottle is from 2006 um, and it still smells amazing. So yeah, that is Miss Dior Cherie, the Eau de Toilette formulation. And then I've got a big guy of Miss Dior Cherie, the Eau de Parfum original formulation. My bottle is from 2005. Um, I do have a tester bottle. So mine's got all of the notes engraved in the glass on the side and I love this. This is my favorite version of Miss Dior Cherie. Yeah, it's so good. Um, this, my bottle is, it, again, it smells perfectly fine, but I can tell that some of the top notes are gone. I, you definitely don't get all of the top notes. You really don't start smelling it and, and what it actually smells like until it starts to dry down to about the midpoint. Um, which is very, very fast. I mean, within 10 or 15 seconds. So it only smells off for maybe 10 seconds. And then once it gets to that midpoint, which is very fast, it, it smells like Miss Dior Cherie. I love it. It's, this is such a stunning fragrance and shame on Dior forever getting rid of this or reformulating it. It's such a classic. This one has got strawberry in it as well. So strawberry and caramel and popcorn, citruses in the top, a little bit of patchouli, but not an overpowering patchouli. It's just so good. It's just so good. This was such how it was, it was like literally almost a masterpiece of a fragrance and then they just had to go and ruin it. So anyways, yeah, I love to layer this over my Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter body lotion which smells almost identical to this. It's just such a good layering combination. But anyways, that is Miss Dior Cherie, the original 2005 formulation. And then I've also got this one here. This is Midnight Poison. I can't remember what, let me, let me look up really quickly what year my bottle is from. I, I want to say 2007. Yeah, so my bottle is from 2007. The thing, when you look up um, Christian Dior fragrances, they, they recycle their batch codes every 10 years. So it says that my bottle's from 2017, but we know that Midnight Poison was not being manufactured in 2017, so you go back 10 years, um, and so it's from 2007. Um, I love Midnight Poison. This is the most beautiful rose and patchouli, like dark rose and patchouli combination. It's so good. I don't wear this one very often. Um, this one gets compared, I think it gets compared a lot to YSL um, L, and I do think that they're very similar. I think I prefer Midnight Poison just a little bit more, but they're both beautiful rose and patchouli fragrances. So anyways, that is my original bottle of Christian Dior Midnight Poison. I'm so happy to have it. And then the last Christian Dior fragrance that I have that is an original is Pure Poison. Um, let me look up. Okay, so mine says it's from 2016, so I'm going to assume it's from 2006. This is the original formulation. The way that you can tell the original formulation has the purple ring around the neck and it's got a white cap. Um, the new formulation, I believe, has a gold or silver ring and a purple cap. So yeah, I'm going to assume that mine is from 2006. And it is stunning. This is the most beautiful, like clean, slightly sweet white floral. It's got jasmine. Oh, but there's something about this one. It's such a warm, clean, 
sweet white floral. I love it so much. I actually prefer to wear this in the cold weather. Um, it performs way better on me in the cold weather, plus I just like how it smells better in the cold weather. Um, but it's a beautiful warm weather scent too. It's just such a good one. So anyways, that is the original formulation of Pure Poison. Okay, and then I've got some original Stellas. The first couple that I have were sent over from a beautiful subscriber. She sent me a little mini. This is the original Stella from Stella McCartney. Um, this is such a beautiful fragrance. And I love the new formulation as well because I still get the same feeling from it. It still has that same familiarity to me, but nothing can compare to this original formulation. Like nothing. There is something about this that is like nothing I've ever smelled before. And I've had so many people say, oh, this smells like Stella, or this smells like Stella. I've looked on fragrance and seen all of these perfumes that people think smell like Stella. Nothing really smells like Stella. And when you smell the original formulation, it's so, so apparent that there's nothing out there like it. This is one of my favorite fragrances of life and it will always be. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just one of the most magnificent fragrances that has ever been made. It is by far the most magnificent rose that has ever been made. Um, it's just like my favorite thing on the planet. So she sent this beautiful little mini that is about, it's about a quarter full, but I don't wear it. I just like to sniff it out of the bottle. It still smells perfect. You can tell it's been stored impeccably. It still smells amazing. And then she also sent this roller ball. So this is just a little um, 10 mil roller ball and she dates everything. So this is from November of 2011. So this is like right before they did the reformulation. And again, there's just nothing like this. It's such an amazing perfume. Just perfect rose and amber. It's warm, it's dark, it's Gosh, everything. And she wrote in the lid, she bought it at Sephora in November of 2011. So I love how precise, how like, I don't know, how well she documents her fragrances. It's like amazing. Okay, and then moving right along now, I'm not gonna go in any order, I'm just gonna go through these. This is probably gonna be a really long video, you guys, I'm sorry. Okay, next I've got this one here. This is the original formulation of Vanilla Fields. This one, this one is, oh my gosh, this brings me back to like 1996 and 97 when I was in high school. Mine, this is not off. This still smells incredible. It takes me right back to being in high school. One of my, one of the girls that I was like really, she was kind of like a good time friend. We weren't like best friends, but we hung out all of the time because we were just kind of good time friends. Um, but she, this was her signature. She wore this all the time. She smelled like this, her car smelled like this. So it really, really reminds me of her but this is beautiful and I can't believe after all of these years, and this is a drugstore fragrance. It is a Cody fragrance and Cody makes good fragrances really. But yeah, for being a drugstore fragrance and the fact that this has not gone off is amazing. It also just goes to show you like how amazing fragrance used to be before they completely butchered the entire industry really. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so stinking good. It's, it is vanilla, but it's like a perfumey vanilla. Oh, it's so good. Sometimes vintage fragrances like this, when they go off, 
especially if they were kind of a more fresh fragrance. They do this weird kind of almost green. They almost go like green. And that's what this one's done. It's just, it's strange. I can just like barely make out what it used to smell like. And it still brings back that nostalgia for me, um, but this one is definitely way off. They have reformulated this. You still can get Charlie White. It's just, it's in like a clear glass bottle. Um, the vintage formulation was in a frosted bottle like this, and the new, the newer formulation is like in a clear bottle. Um, at some point, I'll go ahead and pick it up just to see if it, you know, if it resembles the original formulation at all. But yeah, unfortunately, mine's way off. This is a perfume that I used to wear when I was seven, eight years old. Um, yeah, it was my favorite of the entire Charlie line. I loved Charlie White. I just thought it was so pretty. So anyways, yeah, that is Charlie White. Uh, next, we have Ralph Lauren Safari. Um, this one, it's funny. I don't actually love Safari, but... Yeah, I don't, I actually like it a lot more now than I did back then. There's something so deliciously vintage about this one. It smells so freaking good, and it's funny, I didn't love it back in the day, but it was still nostalgic for me because I remember it. And I remember thinking back then that it was like a little bit too mature for me. I tended to go more towards like, I don't know, the kind of sporty aquatic fragrances, which we'll get into in a minute, really weird, or sweet stuff. I've always loved sweet stuff. But this one now is so freaking good. It just, it's very vintage smelling. Like dark, syrupy, spiced, like ambery vintage. It's so good. I love Ralph Lauren Safari now. Um, and I love this bottle. I've just got a little mini. Well, I think mine's a half ounce. But I love the like cut crystal bottles. I just think they're so darn pretty. And the silver lid and all the engraving on the top. So classy. Okay, next we have another drugstore fragrance. This is completely off. Like, I'm spraying through to kind of clear the line. Yeah, this one is so off. Like, I don't even smell, I don't even smell the perfume anymore. Like, I have no idea. Like, I kind of remember what this used to smell like. This is another one. Um, I think they reformulated this and are possibly manufacturing it again. This is another Cody fragrance. But I can't remember, but I, I have no idea what this smells like. It does not smell good. It's completely off. But this was a drugstore fragrance. My mom wore this fragrance for years. And when I was a kid, our, like in the 80s and early 90s, our house was kind of decorated in these jewel tones and this kind of Victorian motif with like antiques everywhere. And like our couch was this color. We had like mauve carpet, oh, so crazy. We had parquet floors in the kitchen. I mean, so 80s and 90s. But anyways, this bottle just reminds me of being a kid because my mom wore this and she loved it. And I also wore it. I would steal it from her and wear it because I loved the way it smelled. It was such a beautiful, unique floral back then and I just adored it. So anyways, that is Le Fleur from Cody. It was a beautiful drugstore. Like, you could get some bomb fragrances in the drugstore back in those days. This next one is a, is a perfect example, too. This is Revlon Fire and Ice, and this is, I don't know how mine still smells amazing, but it does. It still smells exactly the way that it did, you know, when it came out. This is an original formulation as well. This bottle is so old. I have no idea how old, but it's old. This takes me straight back to being in junior high school when I would always make my dad buy me the Revlon Outrageous shampoo 
because it smelled like fire and ice. I think the shampoo came out before the perfume, if I remember correctly, and then they made the perfume. I think, but this is, this is so nostalgic for me. This is the most beautiful kind of sweet, ambery floral. It smells so amazing. And again, I don't know how my bottle is in such good condition and how it has held up over all of these years. Um, I have worn this and it wore beautifully. I mean, beautifully. It's not off. It's just perfect. So anyways, if there are any of you out there that used to love the Revlon Outrageous Shampoo and are wanting something that smells like it, Fire and Ice, they reformulated this too. They still sell it. So you can buy a new formulation as well. Um, I haven't smelled the new formulation though, so I'm not sure how good it is or how it compares to this one. Um, maybe one of these days I'll pick a bottle up and we'll see. I'll compare it and we'll see. But anyways, that is Revlon Fire and Ice. This next one... Um, this is a fragrance that I wore right after I graduated high school. Um, this is Tommy Girl. And I loved this fragrance so much. To me, this was like the most, I don't know. It was just like the prettiest. Yeah, and my bottle, this bottle is, it's kind of off too. It's an old bottle. Um, it's a little bit off, but it's still really, really good. It still smells perfect, really. It's again, it's kind of like the, um, it's kind of like my Miss Dior Cherie. You can tell that some of the top notes are gone, but as soon as it gets down to that kind of mid-level, it starts smelling right, <laughs> like how it's supposed to smell. Yeah, this brings, this takes me straight back to right after I graduated high school. Yeah, it's such a beautiful fragrance. It's almost, I almost get like a tea-like vibe from this. It's almost like a fruity, fresh tea fragrance, really. It's good. I've never smelled anything else that really smells like Tommy either, so yeah, that's a good one. That's Tommy Girl, I wore that right after I graduated. Okay, this next one, this is not a vintage bottle, but I had to have this because this is another fragrance that I wore when I was like eight, nine, 10 years old. It's an old drugstore fragrance and I loved it so much. So this is from the Perfumers Workshop. This is called Samba. The original formulation comes in like a lavender bottle um, with a pink, with pink. It, this is not the original formulation for sure. Um, this takes me back to the 80s, for sure. Yeah, and this actually, it has been reformulated, but it's not a bad reformulation. Like, it's definitely not, definitely not as good as the original, but it's not bad at all. This still smells really good. Like, I would still wear this 100%. This is like a fresh, kind of fruity floral, but vintage style, for sure. Very vintage smelling, very 80s. Ugh, I loved this. I remember going through bottles of Samba. I wore it so, so much. So anyways, that is Samba from the Perfumers Workshop. Next, um, a fragrance that I wore in that same time period that I absolutely loved is Exclamation. Um, I think exclamation is made by Cody as well. You can see I was a drugstore girl. Um, everything I wore was from the drugstore. The only fragrance that I used to wear, well, there's a couple that I used to wear that I can't find. Um, Malibu Musk. They came in the spray can. I used to wear that. And United Colors of Benetton Tribute. That's been popping up again, so I have a feeling that that's back in production. I've been seeing it pop up on sites, um, so I would love to get my nose on Tribute. That was hands down probably my favorite perfume from like my childhood. So yeah, exclamation! This doesn't smell to me the way that it used to. Like it does. It's still. It's still like conjures up that nostalgia for sure but it's 
just not the same. This one has been butchered. This is a really pretty, this one's almost a little bit peppery smelling. Maybe a little tiny bit powdery, like fruity, sweet, kind of floral. It's pretty, but yeah. This is another one I would totally wear. It doesn't smell dated, um, I guess because it's been reformulated, but yeah, that is exclamation. That's another blast from my childhood. Okay, these next two are my high school fragrances. So um, I wore both of these, and I know I can't remember like which one came first and which came second. I wanna say Cool Water came first. I think I started wearing Cool Water when I was about 15. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was about 15 years old when I started wearing Cool Water, and then I wore it until I think I was about 17. And then after, when I turned, I think around 17, I started wearing the next one we'll talk about. So this is not, <laughs> yeah, this is not a vintage bottle. This is a new bottle, but this one still smells amazing. I don't think this has been reformulated. I'm not sure but this still smells exactly the same to me. This thing was an absolute beast. I could put it on one time before I, when I got ready for school in the morning and I would still smell like this after school is over, when I would go to work after school. Like it just, I don't know, it was a beast. And it, this just reminds me of being a teenager takes me back to those days. This is my signature scent. I smelled like this all the time. <laughs> it's such a pretty, like light, slightly floral, slightly sweet aquatic fragrance. But it was really different. As far as aquatic fragrances went, it was very different from, I was used to things like Ocean Drive, um, you know, really like, that really kind of clean oceanic style and this one was different this one is sweet it's still clean but it's not that typical oceanic smell it's pretty i still love this i have not worn it yeah i haven't worn this i think because those were that wasn't a good time in my life my teenage years were not good years for me so yeah, I don't necessarily want to revisit that time, but it's still a beautiful perfume. So anyways, that is David off Cool Water for women. And then I think when I was about 17, I started wearing this one here. This is Ralph Lauren Polo Sport Woman. This one, this is such, this is very, very nostalgic for me too. Um, this one, This one has held up quite well for as old as it is. This is an original bottle and I'm quite sure it's from the 90s. And it has held up pretty darned good. It's definitely a little bit off. It's not quite as fresh smelling as I remember it. I remember it being so fresh and a little bit sweeter and a little bit more floral. Now it's just really, really citrusy. It's still kind of fresh. You still kind of get the florals, but everything is a little bit lighter. It's way more citric than I remember, but still really beautiful and fresh and kind of sweet. I don't know, I loved it. I went through bottles of this. I used to get the big, huge bottles, like the 3.3 ounce bottles, and I must have gone through at least four or five of them. Um, I wore this straight really i wore i wore cool water from like 15 to 17 and then i wore ralph lauren polo sport from like 17 to 19 and then i that's when i started wearing tommy girl and i wore tommy girl into like the early 2000s so anyways that is ralph lauren polo sport that one is so nostalgic for me okay this next one i should have talked about this when i talked about stella because this is an original bottle of um, Stella McCartney Rose Absolute Eau de Parfum Intense. So, yeah, this is beautiful. And it really does, it smells just like Stella, but it's stronger. It really is just a more intense version. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this just because, yeah, just because I talk so much about Stella, but I do have this bottle and it is an original formulation and 
I absolutely love it. It's a tester too, which makes me so happy. Okay, this next one, this is a perfume that I never wore in high school because everybody else wore it. Um, this is Givenchy Amarige, and yeah, everybody wore this perfume in high school. And because of that, I didn't wear it, but it still brings back so many like memories. It's still so nostalgic smelling. This is like a slightly, this is like a slightly indolic white floral. I love it. I love it so much. It's such a beautiful vintage style floral. It's so good. It takes me back. Like every girl in high school smelled like Amarige. So anyways, that is Amarige from Givenchy. This next one, this is a vintage bottle of 4711. So I have 4711 Nouveau Cologne and I love it so, so much. It's the reformulated version of this or the new, more modern version of this. And I just wanted to pick up the a bottle of the original formulation so I could compare them. Um, this is amazing. I have no idea how old this bottle is. I can tell you it's super old. Um, like, it's really, really old. The label is really old. It's got this little label on the back, which is super old. The liquid, like the color is off, but it still smells amazing. It still smells really, really good. It's like a big splash bottle. The lid is hard to get off, but it really does still smell good. It smells like light herbs and citrus. It's really nice. So yeah, I've got that one. Okay, this next one, this one isn't necessarily vintage. It might be at this point. Um, I'm not totally sure. It's not necessarily vintage, but it is the original formulation, which is why I pulled it. This is the original formulation of Armani Code. Um, I love this one because I love the bottle that the original formulation comes in. It's just a really pretty bottle with the flowers, black flowers on it. This is a gorgeous orange blossom fragrance. Oh, it's so good. Orange Blossom and Vanilla. Um, and I remember when this first came out, how much I loved it. I never bought a bottle of it and I never wore it, but uh, I did love it. I will tell you though, this one is not aging well. Um, this one is probably, this one will probably end up in my next project pan because I don't think that this one's going to hang on for much more than maybe another year or two. It still smells really, really good, but again, you can tell that just some of the top notes are slightly starting to go. It takes about 15 seconds before you can smell what this is supposed to smell like. I love it though. Beautiful orange blossom and vanilla fragrance. It's so good, but I want to enjoy it and not let it go bad, um, which, and I do think that it will go bad relatively soon. I love it though. Such a beautiful fragrance. The, they absolutely butchered this <laughs> with the reformulation. The reformulation of Armani Code is pathetic, like seriously pathetic. It's so sad. So I'm very happy to have this original bottle. Okay, and the last two are like, I save these for the end because these are the mother of all vintage fragrances, especially in my life, because this is like, this is really the, per the first perfume memory that I have. Um, I think I was about six. Yeah, I was. I was about six years old when my mom first got this fragrance. And I used to, she had a walk-in closet and I used to crawl into her closet and get under all of her beautiful dresses and in there with all of her beautiful shoes and boots. And she had, um, she kept it just in the bottom of her closet. She had a jewelry box and she kept her perfume down there and she didn't wear perfume every single day. It was kind of like, you know, she would wear it sometimes, but not always. But this is the perfume that she had. Well, both of these, but this is the, the first one. Um, this is Poison from Christian Dior. And my bottle is from 1986, which is insane for me to think about because I was literally six and seven years old um, when this bottle came out. And I'm 42 now. So 
it's just wild for me to think about. I mean, this could be my mom's bottle of perfume, honestly. But I just remember being mesmerized by it, thinking that it smelled like grape juice. The liquid was even purple, like when you would spray it on, you know, it would like drip down my arms and it would be purple. And I just loved it so much. It's like my first perfume memory and I guess because of that I just cherish it because I grew, you know, I grew up to be such a fragrance fragrance fanatic and so my first real fragrance memory is really important to me. This is amazing. It still smells so good. For being as old as this is, it has held up incredibly well. It still smells the same. It's not off, but it doesn't smell the same unless you actually put it on your skin. It doesn't really smell the same on paper. It's on paper. It's really spicy smelling and all of the kind of fruitiness is gone. I think it's got plum in it. All of the plum and all of the kind of sweet fruitiness has gone from it. Whatever makes it kind of smell like grape juice. And on paper, it really just smells like kind of a spicy, ambery fragrance. But when I spray this on my skin, I can, I still get original poison. But I don't even need to wear it. I just want, in fact, I want to buy a new bottle, like the newer formulation, because I've heard the newer formulation hasn't been horribly butchered. So I would love to have a new formulation bottle of it just to, you know, just to have so I could actually wear it if I wanted to. So anyways, that is poison. This is the Eau de Toilette formulation. It came in a couple different um, formulations, Eau de Toilette and Eau de Cologne, and I think one that was called like Esprit. It was some kind of Esprit poison. So there's that one. And then when this one came out, she also had this one. This is Tender Poison, and this one is beautiful. I just remember thinking, I just remember thinking like how fresh this one was, and I don't know how, how totally different it was because before Poison, my mom wore Cinnabar from Estee Lauder. And that's another fragrance. The, the reformulation of Cinnabar is trash. It's so bad. It literally smells like cat piss to me. But the original Cinnabar was so good. She also wore opium. So I have a little, oh, I should have pulled it. I, I'll, I'll get it. I will. I'll get it in just a second. But anyways, yeah, this is beautiful. This is like a, this almost reminded me of clean laundry when I was a kid. It just smelled clean and fresh and like clean laundry. This is another one. It smells okay when you spray it on your skin, but on paper, a lot of the notes are gone. Um, I think this bottle is from 1987, if I remember correctly. So anyways, but I just hang on to them just for the bottle and because I can, I can sniff them out of the bottle and I'll just get that, you know, nostalgia. So anyways, that is Tender Poison from, uh, that is again, that is also the Eau de Toilette. And then let me grab my, let me grab my little mini of the original formulation of Opium. Okay, yeah, this is a little mini of the original formulation of uh, YSL Opium which my mom also wore. She also wore Reeve Gauche. Um, and this is the Eau de Toilette. I believe she wore the Eau de Parfum. I'm not sure though. I actually, I was too little to remember that because like I said, I was six when she started wearing Poison. Um, so I was younger. When she wore Estee, Litter, Estee Lauder Cinnabar and Opium, I was even younger than that. Like, I think she started wearing opium in the 70s, if I remember correctly. Oh, this is so good. And this, my little mini has not gone off at all. It's just so beautiful. It's such a quintessential, like, oriental fragrance. Like, it, like rich, spicy, ambery oriental fragrance. It's so good. So, anyways, that is opium from... Um, YSL, the original formulation. Oh my gosh, this was a super long video, you guys. Holy cow. Um, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.